All right, everyone, I am back. Okay, so this is what happened. I went into urgent care. You guys saw that part. Uh, I checked in. They have like this little kiosk. I checked in. They said I owed uh, $187 and some change. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Paid it. Then I heard the guard saying to this other guy for urgent care to be registered, you got to go in. I'm like, oh my gosh. So then I said to register, you got to go in to urgent care. And um, she said, yes. So I went in there, had the mask on, had to talk extremely loud. It's full. It's full in there. So everybody in there know why I came there. I mean, I don't know why it seems different here because I'm only seeing myself, I guess. But in there, you know, you had people there. So I had to say, yeah. She said, huh? What did you say? I said, I have vaginal discharge. Anyway, so, and I said, um, possible UTI and so on and so forth. And then she said, okay. And then she said, it's $30. I said, I showed her my receipt. I paid $187 at the kiosk for urgent care. She said, you don't go there to pay. I said, it says to check in. So, you know what I mean? She said, I don't even see it in the urgent care system that you paid. And I showed her the receipt. It printed out. It came out of my account. I saw it come out of my account. So then she said, um, I said, so how can I get this money back? Oh, honey, I have no idea. I was like, okay. And you know how I felt. So the state of mind, yeah. So anyway, this is where we as some human beings need to take into consideration some things when you're working in public, okay? But anyway, I said, I'll go ahead and pay again. Paid it. So now... That's $30 plus $187 and some change. Okay. I had a couple of dollars in my in my wallet, but they are not taking cash now. So I need to take what I have in my wallet and put it into my account. And so keep that in mind. Have, you know, let me move out this person's way. Because I would not want to be sitting here doing a recording and someone... You know, one step spot. I wouldn't want nobody to do that to me. Let me back up because that's not right. Let me get out of their way. You know, I'll put on the seatbelt later. Let me move, help them out. You know what I mean? It's only fair. <sighs> Look like a black couple, too. You know, we need to all get along respect each other it may not come back to me but i believe it will so that's that that's just how i am that's the woman i is but anyway as i try to get my seatbelt on um so i sat there waiting all these people man all these people in there i'm getting anxious and everything and ugh, ah. so that was interesting but i held myself together thank god I put my earbuds in, act like I was talking to somebody at the time, and then my brother called, talked to my brother. He wanted to make sure everything was squared away. So then I got a phone call, and I answered it because I didn't know who it was. She said, hi, Michelle, this is the doctor in the back from urgent care. I have a patient in front of you, but I see that your doctor prescribe some antibiotics for you and I said oh okay so do you still want to be seen by me or I said no I'll go to the pharmacy and I'll get the antibiotic and I'll go home so I'm on my way home after I done paid <laughs> 200 and something dollars for a doctor visit and never seen the doctor <laughs> I didn't see no need to really stay anymore because, you know what I mean? I go in there. She look at me to take a sample. It's going to, you know what I mean? I, I felt like it's no need. I need to go home now. So I'm going home. Um, I apologize for the first time, guys. This is my, this is real me. This is what I go through, okay? I'm so sorry. 
<sighs> my family know this <sighs> and and close friends um but this is me so i'm letting you in a part of my life that everybody don't know okay so please respect it please 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 respect it and i know this is the internet people act you know whatever but yeah i know I, I, that doesn't shock me anymore <laughs> because yeah we're all not the same but i do appreciate honest loyal respectful human beings period no matter what your race is or gender or if you don't even identify with a gender that is already out here social uh what is it called socialization something like that but anyway i appreciate you as a human being but um uh, i just wanted to apologize for that i was out of control i was i was but i am on my way home i'm not going to take the medicine now because some it makes you drowsy and could upset your stomach so i figured i'm not going to do that while i'm driving i'll wait till i get home and i will keep you guys updated and um take care thank you for your love your encouragement your prayers those things is more important to me than money i'm just letting you know this okay i'm just letting you know this so keep them coming i love them and you keep on pushing in life it gets rough but never give up never give up even when you feel like you're alone but never give up because i'm not alone i have family i have friends but you know how that goes sometimes but anyway i was a big girl today thank you jesus i did it i did it i did it i did it <laughs> remember mr brown it's your granddaddy it's your granddaddy out here love yourself know yourself be yourself change yourself to improve ah! yourself take care now love you all